Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, we'll be doing a review of Context Minds. Context Minds is a brainstorming and idea mapping tool. It allows you to generate SEO friendly content idea in minutes, and you're able to create visual content maps to allow you to organize your ideas for your blog post, for your websites, for your social media content, or for any type of planning which you're doing in your business. In order to see how powerful and effective this tool can be within your own business, let's go ahead and do a deep dive into Context Minds. Actually, go ahead and map up some ideas for a blog post and for a website. And just before we get started, I did discover Context Minds on AppSumo, so that means there is a lifetime deal um, currently on AppSumo. They also have really, really good reviews, 22 reviews, all five star. Um, and I've went ahead and read through some of the reviews and people are very happy with this tool. So if you want to go ahead and get started, you can get a lifetime deal for $69. You get 6,000 topic and keyword lookups per month, 1,500 web and AI article suggestions per month, and 1,500 AI generated paragraph topics per month. So there's actually a built-in AI that will give you some generated content um, when you're mapping up your ideas. So pretty cool there. And if you wanted to get more topic and keyword lookups, more AI generated paragraphs and AI article suggestions, you can go ahead and stack your code and get the double and if you wanted to get the unlimited plan that would be a one-time purchase of $345 so if you like this tool and you want to go ahead and get the lifetime deal I'll leave a link in the description below this video and once you get a plan for context minds this is what your dashboard would look like so in order to get started go ahead and click the plus button there's a lot of different use cases for this tool but for this example we'll be going ahead and mapping out a blog post so in order to get started you want to go ahead and click the plus button here and this is where you start typing your main idea in which um, your mapping. So, so for this example, we'll be mapping out a blog post about the benefits of green tea. So let's go ahead and get started by searching up green tea um, and putting that in as our main um, sort of idea. So next we can go ahead and add a subtopic in this section here, or we can just go ahead and add a separate topic here. So as you can see, once you enter an idea, if you scroll down to the bottom here, you'll be able to get some related concepts from context mind. So it takes the data in which you give it and it actually gives you some related um, concepts here in which you can use when building out your map. So you don't have to actually have an idea of what you want to build out. You'll be able to get some ideas from this tool. And if you take a look at these specific keywords, you can see some keyword volume and keyword difficulty metric. And you can also see the tag to see whether it's a topic or whether it's a keyword or if it's a question. And again, we can see that some of the questions and keywords have a search volume. So, so that's some good data to have on hand to see if that topic is too difficult or if that topic gets too little views. So again, if you wanted to add a subtopic, click on the subtopic button there. And let's say we wanted to go ahead and add green tea benefits as a subtopic. As you can see here on the right hand side, we get some search volume metrics, some ranking difficulty, total monthly clicks, organic clicks. And we also see the source from where that comes from. And if you scroll down, we'll be able to see some blog posts that write about the benefits of green tea. So again, um, if you wanted to do some research on those websites, you can go ahead and do so as well. And if you wanted to filter the results in which you're getting back, go ahead and click on the scope section here. And this will select or deselect um, types of search results in which you get back. So if you wanted to get related topics, uh, keep that checked. If you wanted to get concepts and topics shared by community, you can go ahead and click that. If you wanted to get trending questions, you can leave that in there, related keywords. And if you wanted headings such as the H2 and H3 headings from related articles, you can click that and you'll get uh, some headings from other articles. So for this example, we might want to go ahead and actually add that in there because again, if other website or blogs are including that within their blog posts, it may be within your interest to include those keywords or those headings as well. So you can add a subtopic by clicking that button or you can head over to Green Tea Benefits and insert into the map. And if you wanted to go ahead and link green tea to green tea benefits, just go ahead and click on green tea, link to other. So depending on the relationship will depend on what you name that relationship. So for this um, example here, we'll do main idea. So green tea um, is the main topic, but we'll be talking uh, mainly about the green tea and the benefits of green tea. And again, as you can see, because we added green tea benefits, if you scroll down to the bottom here, we actually see some benefits of green tea that were pulled by context mind. So again, this is a really, really useful tool for all of you bloggers that are out there um, constructing and creating your blog post. You can go ahead and build a nice outline using uh, context minds and you can actually go ahead and export this all as a text as well. So you can go ahead and build your flow or construct your blog post within this tool and then go ahead and export that to an AI copywriter and generate your full length article. So as you can see here, we got some green tea benefits. So let's go ahead and put that within um, the green tea benefit section here. We'll also add number two within this section. We'll add number three as well. We'll add number four. So I really like that you can play around with this so that it looks 
um, a lot better and a lot cleaner, but this is very, very intuitive and very easy to use. And it's nice to actually have a visual when you're creating content. A lot of times you just write this down within a Google Docs, but this is a really good way to stay organized and to be able to make sure that your blog post is flowing properly. And if you're using a freelancer or a writer to write your content, you can go ahead and share this with them so they get the idea of what you're trying to create. And also another use case could be is if you're building out processes within your business, you can also use this to really map up those systems within your business so that uh, things become a little bit more scalable as well. So as you can see, the possibilities really are endless with this tool. You can pretty much um, create any sort of map and brainstorm any sort of idea uh, for your business. So now we know that we're writing about green tea. Our main topic will be about green tea benefits and we have some benefits here. Now, if you wanna get a little bit deeper um, and include some information within our subsections, you can go ahead and paste that in there. And as you can see, you can add a little bit of an indent so that your writer or that yourself would know that this is a point within that section. So again, for number three, which talks about increases fat burning, we can go ahead and enter a subtopic here, which talks a little bit more about fat burning. And again, if you wanna go ahead and enter any of these related concepts on the whiteboard, just go ahead and paste it in there. And again, remember, if you wanna go ahead and link, just go ahead and click on that um, specific topic, link to other, and then choose the um, other topic in which you're trying to link to. Now, let's say this section will be about questions. So any questions that we'll be including um, within this blog post is gonna be on this side of um, our mind map. And again, if you go ahead and click on that specific section, we can see some more information um, about that topic. So how much caffeine is in green tea? That would be a good um, subtopic to include in there. Uh, what is caffeine? That might be another good one to include. And again, if you wanna go ahead and load more, just go ahead and click uh, load more. How to reduce the caffeine content of green tea? That may be another interesting topic that we can include there. And also I forgot to mention, if you go ahead and click on any of these specific um, topics here on the right hand side, you'll actually get some uh, content that the AI will generate based upon that specific um, topic here. So we're talking about how much caffeine is in green tea. We can see here that we get some notes from the AI that talks about what uh, green tea is, what's green tea made out of, and the history of green tea. And if you scroll down here, we'll be able to get some information from the internet related to how much caffeine is in green tea. Uh, and we can see here um, the source in which that's coming from, how much caffeine is in green tea again from Healthline. So when you go ahead and click on any of these um, specific um, headings here on the right hand side firstly you'll get some uh, content which you can use which will be generated from the ai and then below that if you see any um, specific source then that content is pulled from another website and if you click drag to map you'll be able to actually go ahead and drag and insert that content onto your whiteboard so if you find some content that's useful and relevant you can just go ahead and pop that in here and boom, there you go. You have some content that you're ready to use within your article. And there you go. We were able to build a very simple um, blog post workflow here, which includes the blog post idea and some subtopics and different sections in which you would include within that blog post. And as you can see, it was really easy to build out a blog post workflow, which we're able to identify the topics, the subtopics, the main ideas, and some other sections that would be included within this article. And of course, you can get a lot more detail just depending on what you're mapping out. Another really useful use case for this tool would be helping you map out your blog or website. Another really useful use case would be helping you to build out the silos or the categories for your website or blog. If you're a blogger or you own a website, you know how important it is to get the structure of your website correctly. So you can go ahead and use a tool like this and then go ahead and search up the main topic of your website and start building out your silo. So this allows you to be creative and visually build out your website because when you you can see things visually, you're able to really um, be more organized when you're creating things. So there you go. That's a quick demonstration as to how you can go ahead and use this tool to start organizing and structuring your website or blog. So if you like what you see and you want to go ahead and grab this tool, I'll leave a link below this video for the lifetime deal. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you found something useful and you're able to use that within your own business. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.